What's up, YouTubers? It's the Animation at 27 back with you another video, and today we'll be doing the first episode of one of my two series, Live Action Talk. So in this series, I'll be talking about live action movies, which will be like live action shows and movies like Sanford and Son and Friday and stuff. Like all those live action stuff, this will be the series I'll be talking about. The other one I'll be doing is Animation Talk, which will be all animation stuff. Which I'll be talking about like cartoons like the Fairly Odd Parents and the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. So all that stuff will be its own series. I decided to do a series, one for live action, one for animation. So and today we'll be starting the live action talk off. And today the first live action movie we'll be talking about is the 2003 underrated gem, Looney Tunes Back in Action. Now before we get started, we gotta talk about Looney Tunes. First off, if y'all saw my 30 Greatest Cartoons video, to both of them you saw that i put looney tunes on my list it's one of my favorite cartoons of all time i love the animation the the uh, shorts are really great the characters like bugs daffy porky wiley roadrunner sylvester and tweety and the rest of the gang are all memorable and iconic and of course i love anything with them so of course the looney tunes has had a bunch of movies but the two most famous ones are this film and space jam which i'll talk about in a future video or something but yeah out of the two, Space Jam is, of course, the most popular of the two, garnering a, a following, and people have loved it over the years or hated it. And, of course, we're getting that sequel next year in 2021 with, for the uh, 25th anniversary with um, LeBron James in, in, it, in it, and I think um, Don Cheeto as well. But, yeah, so we're pretty much getting a Space Jam 2. But, in my opinion, if I had to pick my, two out of, my favorite out of the two, Looney Tunes Back in Action is definitely my favorite. I mean, I love Space Jam. Space Jam is great. It's a classic, but I love Looney Tunes Back in Action. And I'm sad that it's not getting a sequel and it doesn't have a following as much as, say, Space Jam. This deserves a sequel. This deserves a sequel. But because it was a bomb at the box office, it is not. So let's get started with the review, shall we? But anyway, what do I th think about Looney Tunes Back in Action? Well, personally, I really love it. It's funny. It's hilarious. It's very heartwarming at some scenes. And it's a great film. I like how it portrays the Looney Tunes. We get the classic Bugs and Daffy duo. You know, Daffy is uh, jealous of Bugs, of course. And speaking of jealousy, let's talk about the plot. So the plot of the film is about Daffy getting fired from Warner Brothers because, you know, he's not as popular as Bugs. So Kate Houston, played by Jenna Elfman, tells a security guard play, named Damian Drake, played by Brendan Fraser, to escort Daffy out. But after a chaotic scene ensues, both not only is Daffy kicked out, but Damian is fired from his job. But when we get to Damian's house, we find out that his father, played by Timothy Dawn, who's a spy, an actor who plays a spy, is really a spy, and, is out the, and has been captured by the head of the Acme Corporation, played by the legend himself, Steve Martin. So, of course, Damian, along with Daffy... And, of course, Kate and Bugs go on a journey to find the Blue Monkey and stop the head of the Acme Corporation, who has sent five of the Looney Tunes villains out. Yosemite Sam, Marvin the, Mar Marvin, the Taz Marvin the Martian, Taz, Elmer Fudd, and Wiley Coyote. And, of course, they all constantly fail, because, you know, if you've seen those shorts, those guys fail. So that's pretty much the premise of the movie, and it's really good. There are, are there flaws? Yeah, there are a couple of flaws in it, but we'll get to that in a moment. But what's the positives? One, I like the dynamic between Bugs and Daffy. Of course, we all remember Bugs and Daffy. They've had a great dynamic. Bugs is the one who gets away with anything, and Daffy usually gets the crap end of the stick. But we love both Bugs and Daffy. They're both iconic. I mean, you really love both of them. I like how this movie focuses on that dynamic, where Daffy wants to be like Bugs, but constantly fails at it. And this is really a great Daffy Duck adventure. I like how they develop Daffy a lot in this movie. Like at the end of the film, spoiler alert, how Daffy pretty much saves the day and stuff in his Duck Dodgers outfit. I like that. I love Daffy. I, give, I love that they give him respect in this. Props to you, Warner Brothers. And the live action characters are good. Not as good as the animated stars, but they're good. My favorite has to be the head of the Acme Corporation. He is one of the funniest movie villains I've ever seen. I remember that line when he says, Move the duck from the middle of the book. Remove the duck. Remove the duck. <laughs> I love that guy. That guy is funny. He's hilarious. Steve Martin, <laughs> props to you, man. And I also love some of the other animated characters they got. Of course, we see the other Looney Tunes. They don't have major roles as much as Bugs and Daffy, but when they come on, they're great. Of course, the five aforementioned villains 
help out the head of the Acme, which I like that unlike Space Jam, the Looney Tunes villains aren't helping out the heroes. That's kind of nice. We also see the other characters like Foghorn, Leghorn, Pepe Le Pew, Porky Pig, Speedy Gonzalez, uh, Granny, Tweety, and Sylvester, and they're all great in their cameo roles. Heck, Shaggy and Scooby actually make a brief cameo in the movie. Yeah, Shaggy and Scooby make a brief cameo, and I'll show you that right now. But yeah, personally, if I had to pick my favorite scene in this movie, it definitely has to be the Shaggy and Scooby cameo. Yeah, that's right. Shaggy and Scooby actually make a brief cameo in the movie. They actually make a brief cameo in the film where they interact with Matthew Lillard, the actor that played Shaggy in the live-action movies, and later be the voice of him after voice of him after Casey Kasem retired. And I and it's probably my favorite scene in the movie. I'll show you the clip right now. I just really like the scene where Shaggy and Scooby Lily are angry at Matthew for his betrayal of Shaggy in the movie. It's like, wow, we actually get to see what a cartoon character thinks of their live-action adaptation. Like, how can we not got more of that? Can we just get a movie where all the cartoon characters are angry that they get these live-action remakes that are terrible? And of course, Shaggy and Scooby were not, are the only non-Looney Tunes characters that appear in the movie. Although, originally in production, Droopy and Tom and Jerry were also supposed to make cameos in the movie. Yeah, Tom and Jerry and Droopy were also set to make cameo appearances in the movie. I'm a little upset, though, because I would love to see Tom and Jerry with the Looney Tunes. Hell, they could have even had the Flintstones, Yogi Bear, Huckleberry Hound, or even the Jetsons in there. Or even the Tiny Tunes and Animaniacs. That would have been awesome. Like, seriously, in the water tower scene, we should have seen Yakko, Wacko, and Dot flying out of the water tower. That would have been awesome. I'm just saying. But there's also other good scenes, too. Like this one right here. Well, this, of course, is the famous paint chase between Bugs, Daffy, and Elmer, and it's the scene everyone remembers from the movie, and it's a really good scene, and the animation's really good. Now for the flop. Now for some of the flaws. There are some problems. I will admit DJ and Kate aren't the most, are not the best characters. They're kind of the weakest characters in the film. I mean, the, out of the three main human stars, the head of Agni is probably the better of the three because he's a lot more funnier. And another problem I have is that, yeah, you're not gonna be if some you're not gonna like this movie if you love Looney Tunes because you know well let me explain this the Looney Tunes characters besides Bugs and Daffy are usually more minor background characters in this film they don't have a major role except for the five aforementioned villains so if you're a fan of some of those characters you might be disappointed they don't get much of a role and speaking of villains one problem I really have with the movie is that out of all the Looney Tunes villains Sylvester is the only one that does not help out the head of Acme like seriously you have Wiley Elmer, Sam, Marvin, and Taz helping out. Yeah, Sylvester's literally just there for, like, two cameos, and that's it. Like, what the hell? He's a great villain. Why can't we have had Sylvester go after him? Like, maybe he could have chased, followed, he could have been, like, his henchman, having him, you know, follow the gang around, trying to steal the blue monkey and failing. Like, you could have had Sylvester help out the head of Acme. He's the other, another, he's the other popular Looney Tunes villain in the main six. 
Yeah, he does not help out once in the scheme. What the hell? I would love to see Sylvester at least help him help the gang out. That would have been awesome. But yeah, of course, if you know, this movie pretty much bombed. It bombed big time. And it came out the same weekend as a lot of other films. Like Elf, which became an iconic Christmas classic. And of course, the dreaded live-action Cat in the Hat movie starring Mike Myers and Alec Baldwin. And, and Alec Baldwin, yeah. But we'll get to that movie later in the later on. And trust me, I got a lot, I mean, a lot to say about that movie. You'd like to hear. But yeah, I'm sad this movie bombed. In fact, it was so bad that Warner Brothers Animation shut down for a while. It wouldn't be until 11 years later in 2014 when they reopened up with the Lego movie. So yeah, it took them 11 years to make that. And after a while, they stopped caring about the Looney Tunes and just didn't do much with them after that. Now, yeah, we did have stuff like Lunatics Unleashed, some new shorts, and, of course, the Looney Tunes show and Wabbit, a Looney Tunes production, later called New Looney Tunes, but that was it. And it's kind of sad that Warner Brothers doesn't do much with the Looney Tunes anymore, but that's another topic for another day. But anyway, yeah, Looney Tunes Back in Action is a really good movie, which I hope some people will love, because I hope it does get a sequel. I would love to see a Looney Tunes Back in Action 2. That would be so awesome. Come on. A second back in action? Come on, people. That would be amazing. Y'all know a, a Looney Tunes back in action, too, would be awesome, man. I would love that. And this, if I, admit, if I have a top 30 best live action movies, this would definitely be on my list. I know technically it's half animation, half live action, but technically it takes place in the live action world, so I count it as a live action animation hybrid film. It's probably one of the best live action slash animation hybrid films I've seen so far. Right up there with the the Garfield movies, Space Jam, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and of course the 2016 Jungle Book, the 2019 Lion King, and Christopher Robin. And I consider those some of the best live action animation hybrid films of all time, and probably the only good ones. And of course there's the Grinch, but that's not really animation hybrid, but you get what I mean. But trust me, we'll get to those live action animation hybrids later, later, later on. We'll talk about those another time. But overall, yeah, Looney Tunes back in action is a movie that I des feel like deserves more love and attention. I personally love it, and it will be one of those live-action movies I would watch for years to come. So I highly, highly recommend this movie. Come on, guys. It's a really good movie. They got Bugs and Daffy. Yeah. What's up, Doc? You're despicable. But yeah, overall, that's my thoughts on Looney Tunes back in action. And that, and I say I want to say thanks for watching, folks. And I'm... Really excited for this live action talk and animation talk. Next time I'll be starting my animation talk probably. And I'll and you'll see what it's gonna be. But anyway, um thanks for watching folks and uh the 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 I mean the 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 and go home folks.